you only at Christmas. Oh, egg drop drink, oh, egg not drink. You go pretty good with bourbon. Hey, um, hi, uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. The girls aren't here. Um, it kind of looks like they were gonna do something. <clears throat> What's this? Uh, uh, chocolate chip cookies. That sounds good and uh, boring. Um, uh, yeah, whatever. You, you just have to wait for them to show up. What? What was that? Really tiny Santa? You can do it. I believe in you. Ho, 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 ho. I don't know, insanely small Santa. Uh, what do you think, Shelf, that's also an elf? You can totally do it. Whatever, I'm just the editor. That just gives me powers to do, like, this and this and bam shaboo. That, that's what I do. I, other side of camera, that's, that's, that's where I usually am. Just do it. Do as many Santa commands. Right, 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 right. You, you convinced me. Whatever. I'll make cookies for Christmas, but first, I'm going to use my special powers as the editor to make it more Christmassy around here. Nah, it's good enough. Okay, let's look at this silly recipe here. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, one and a quarter cup sugar. I'll see you some white sugar, and I'll give you a shot of brown sugar. Butter. Uh, yeah, that's good. I'll, I'll get that going. We got our, you know, our sugar, our butter. Let's go ahead and mix them up. That'll be fun, huh? Okay, that's creamed. Uh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, half cup of milk. Seems a little boring. <sighs> Yay, eggnog! Yeah, that'll make it holiday e. We'll just do a half cup of eggnog. Two eggs. Uh, the whole thing would be softer if I just used the yolks. Then I could save the whites for something else. I think I'll do that. Two eggs. Get the white in there. Put the yolk in there. Put the white in here. Drop the yolk in the white. Put the yolk go in there. Scoop it out of there. Alright, the uh, wet stuff is all done, our egg whites, we're going to put that out of the way for now, and let's go into the dry stuff. Uh, this looks good, so I'll just follow this one, use the gluten-free stuff, this is a gluten-free cooking show. Put out my flexible cutting board, take the sifter and add two and a quarter cup of our gluten-free flour stuff. Stuff needs to rise. We need the baking powder. Get about a teaspoon of that and mm, half a teaspoon of cinnamon because spices. And sift. We got our mountain of gluten-free flour and other dry ingredients. So we'll get that going on a really low speed and make a flour taco with your flexible mat and just kind of jiggle some in. If you do it all at once, it's going to suck. If you do it too slowly, it'll take too long and still suck. 
Wait till it stops getting super flowery. Then kick it up to high. Kick it back to low. And add some more. All right, that looks done. So that's pretty much the dough part. Now for that last little bit of flavoring. Uh, you know, chocolate chip cookies use chocolate chips, vanilla, and that's not going to work for eggnog cookies. So, white chocolate chips, rum extract. Let's uh, toss them in. There's that, and rum extract, eh, teaspoon, whatever. Who the heck cares? It's extract, just don't use the whole bottle. Mix a little bit, now it's done. Yay! Use one of those things that has a metal bowl, so you can just take it off, scrape down the sides, throw it in the refrigerator for like an hour to kind of chill the dough. 30 minutes will work, but an hour is better. <coughs> and uh, don't forget, Probably shouldn't leave the egg whites sitting out because germs, death, food poisoning, yeah. yeah, put that away too. I got the oven preheating to about 300 degrees. It's a little lower than normal because, because, whatever, chill. Uh, got the stuff chilled and you know about parchment paper so I shouldn't have to tell you that. Put that on your cookie sheets. Cookie sheets, not pizza baking whatevers. I'm going to be using a number 40 disher. Da, da, da. This will keep all the cookies exactly the same size so that when you bake them, they'll come out, you know, even and correct. So you don't have one small one that gets all, you know, crunchy and hard, and another one that gets all, you know, big and gooey. I can't think of anything interesting to say. So yeah, got nothing to talk about. Scooping cookies. Not really chatty work. If you want people to talk a lot about nothing, switch over to C-SPAN. They're experts at that. Now that all those are dished out, you remember we have our egg whites and I'm gonna put some sitting nutmeg into it uh, an amount I'll figure it out later and put it right here and using a fun little brush we're just gonna give these an egg wash this will give it a little flavorful toasted top to the whole thing. You know, if you look at those professionally done breads or anything and how they have that nice golden brown coat, this is their dirty little secret. It's an egg wash. They brush the top of the loaves, browns it faster on the top. Da -da -da. These are done and they're going to go into the oven. Set your penguin to oh, about 10 minutes and then we'll rotate them. Okay. Okay. Penguin went off. It's time to get these things out of the oven. And uh, I don't have awesome tile countertops that, you know, I need trivets. But I got more in the bowl and I only got two cookie sheets. So this is why partial paper is awesome. Bam. Bam. They're off. They're going to cool. And then, got two more sheets. And all of a sudden, you're ready to go again with more of the scooping and stuff. Everything's cooled and everything's ready to be put on the plate, so I'm just going to hit the fast forward and see you on the other side. They're all done. Nice.
cookies, eggnoggy. So, toss them in. <laughs>